he fully embraced his humanity and he fully embraced his divinity. Um, and that there was some beautiful symmetry between those two things. Um, and as a result of that, you know, he was able to inspire. I have a deep connection to Christ consciousness, um, the energy of Christ, um, not necessarily the person Christ. Like I believe that Jesus Christ was a man. I believe that he, you know, walked the earth, you know, whether he was God's son or not, I'm not sure. I believe that he's a man that had achieved hypostatic union that he really truly uh was a being as i believe many ascended masters were that um achieved uh divine and infinite divine and human potential um that really embraced and what i mean by that is that he fully embraced his humanity and he fully embraced his divinity um and that there was some beautiful symmetry between those two things um, and as a result of that, you know, he was able to inspire, he was able to guide, he was able to, you know, I, I don't believe he walked on water because he was God's son. I believe he walked on water because he had mastered his physical vessel and his uh, divine nature. And that the combination of those two things allowed him to do things that, you know, ordinary, other ordinary men um, have not been able to achieve yet because they haven't achieved that state. Um, so those are just my, my personal beliefs on it. And obviously we all, the beauty of, of planet earth is that we're all entitled to our own beliefs about those things.